Welcome back to Plan Boss. Today, we're doing a brand new video. Today's video is all about Ryobi stuff. Um, my dad and I like to collect Ryobi stuff, so we have a lot of it. Ryobi just recently came out with their new 6 amp power lithium plus high performance 18 volt batteries. And, um, these are them. Uh, they come in a two pack for around $120 at our Home Depot. I don't know what it is anywhere else, but I'm assuming around the same place. So, there are a few changes in these batteries. I bought a one and a half amp power, just lithium plus battery. That's what these look like. Um, that's next to that. And I have a four amp power version of it. Right there. So, as you guys can see, there is a difference between all of them. You know, it's kind of like big, medium, small, six amp power, four amp power, and I believe this one is a one and a half amp power. Yes, it is. So they all got the same fuel status gauge. See, click it, click it, and click it. And they're all the same fuel status gauge. There are a few changes in these six amp power batteries, which is how you release them. Most time on batteries, you basically push this in and it basically will leap pushes that tab in so it comes out well the new ones instead of that you just push way down here more and it brings it in so whenever you're trying to grab around the battery with your hands you can reach around it a lot easier than before so that's quite nice um i guess i heard that on the back here there's these two little connections here I heard, and these do not have that on the back of the battery. They only got it, you know, on the on the stick here, on the top, which is the same on here. But I heard that this is supposed to be the high output. And from what I've been reading up on them, they say that the high output is only going to really high output on the brushless tools. Ryobi has all brushless tools now. So I heard, like, on the circular saw and stuff like that. That's what at least I heard. Maybe on some other tools, some other not brushless tools, maybe it is, but from what I heard, they say that that's the high output part of it. But on not brushless tools, they'll still work perfectly fine. It's just you're not going to have that extra power, I think is what it is. I'm not sure on that, but I think it's not going to give it quite as much. It's going to give it more power, but not as much as brushless tools would have. And, but it will give it a lot more runtime than the 4 to the 6 amp power. So it's a little confusing, but like as in the blowers and stuff, you'd probably want to put on a bigger battery for longer runtime and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's really, I think they're a lot nicer from these tabs here to unlock it off the tool and stuff like that. I think that's a lot better. So, yeah, like I heard it. I guess they're just going to have more run time, but on brushless tools, they're going to even have more power. So that's what I heard on them anyways. But, you know, there's a definitely a big size difference from the Slim Pack to the 6.0. It's like a little baby. You know, it's quite small between the 4, the 1.5, and, and the 6.0. You know, it's at least double the thickness. But they definitely are a little, they're definitely heavier and bigger obviously, because they're bigger batteries. But otherwise, I really like these batteries. I haven't been testing them for a while because they just came out, but I'll, I'll do a checkup review on them in like a year and see how they're holding up. So, yeah, guys, um, I will be posting videos hopefully a little bit more often now. I just didn't really have anything to really do a review on. I couldn't really think of what I could be doing a review on, but now... Now that, like, summer's around the corner, we'll be able to start getting videos going, so. If you haven't already, please subscribe, please like this video, and share with friends if you enjoyed it. And, um, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye, guys!